Alright, let's see if I can get this right. Six times a charm, right? <laughs> uh, what is up, you guys? Jake, or XX, you got Jake to XX here. Bringing you guys a Cinema 4D R13 tutorial. Um, this is a pretty basic tutorial. Like, it's not really that complicated to do. But, I haven't, I've never seen it on YouTube. And, I thought it was very helpful. I mean, it is for me. I don't know about you guys, but if you open up Cinema 4D a lot, then yeah, this will be pretty helpful. So yeah, basically, what it's going to be doing is changing like our default settings. So right as we open up Cinema 4D, this is like usually what we see, but you can change it so that way, um, whenever you open it up, it'll already like be preset to what you want. So I mean, if you want to have a floor every time you open up Cinema 4D, you can have a floor. I mean, I don't really want one, but so go in and make your changes like change the output uh, I'm gonna put mine at HDTV 720p uh, frame range all frames you can put whatever you want this is just what I'm putting um, anti-aliasing put that at best 2x2 two two, 11 um, effect add in some ambient occlusion and global illumination you can change if you're in R13 you can change it to physical render uh, do whatever you want so when you open up uh, Cinema 40, uh, this is what you're going to get. And once you're at this stage, you want to go into Edit, Preferences. Once this loads up, um, you're going to see your Preferences folder at the bottom. And if you don't know how to get there, click on Open Preferences folder and it'll show it to you. And just exit out of that. Uh, now what we're going to do is hit Save. And title it New dot c4d and I'm already in it but I'm going to show you how to get there um, you want to hit on OSC and you're going to want to go to users uh, your name mine's Jake and if you don't see app data here um, if you don't have hidden folders enabled um, it's fairly easy you just go into here hit uh, search I forget what it is search uh, change search options for files and folders click on that go to view and it'll say hidden files and folders and it might be on don't show hidden files or folders or drives mine's on show them so that's why it's showing up just ch check it to that and hit apply and you'll be good to go um, so yeah just go to app data roaming scroll down to max on cinema 4d and you'll see this is the exact same place where I was before just hit save and exit out of cinema 4d and go back into it geez pretty lights get a lot of publicity for me <laughs> always seem to be listening to them probably because I have like 30 songs by them and Anyways, um, open up Cinema 4D again, and it's the preset that I had before. Um, you see, it's at 1287.20, all frames, anti-aliasing, best. Um, it's pretty helpful. Uh, I actually haven't used it yet. I just discovered how to use it. Uh, I thought I would share my knowledge with my fellow YouTubers. Uh, so, yeah, finally, I did it without messing up. I'm so proud of myself. Six takes is the charm. Thank you guys for watching the tour. Nah. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. And have a nice day.